I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Egyptian hieroglyphics on a piece of papyrus. I take two fingers over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line in, up, and leave it floating. I come back to my dot and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line down, straight diagonal up, curve line down, little straight diagonal out, slightly curved line up, straight line in, connect. Right underneath I put one straight line, cross it, another straight line, cross it, come up and put a dot and this is the letter A. I come right next to it and I draw a straight line down, straight line out, straight line up, connect. This is the letter B. I come over here and put a dot and I draw an oval straight line towards the middle, one, two, three straight lines on top, one, two, three straight lines on the bottom, and on the right hand side I'm going to draw a curved line out, in, connect. This is the letter C. I come all the way over here. Now I'm not going to go in order, I'm going to jump around. I put a dot, and I draw straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, and leave it floating. This is the letter H. Right down here in this space I'm just going to put a little straight line, slightly curved line down, leave it floating, come back over here to the front we're going to do a little straight line in big curve line out up straight line straight line connect this is the letter D underneath I'm going to put zigzag 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 this is the letter N I come right next to this and I put a dot and I'm going to draw a big diagonal line out, slight diagonal in, come back up to the top, straight line down, one, two little straight lines inside. This is the letter E. I come right over here and I put a dot and I draw a flat oval straight line on the left, straight line on the right, come down here and just draw a wavy wavy line up and this is the letter F. Now I come right here on this space, put a dot, straight line over, straight line down, curve line out, in, leave it floating, come back to the dot, straight line down, curve line over, straight line, straight line, straight line up, connect right next to it, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Right at this point, little curve line, come inside, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, this is the letter M. I come right over here and I just draw a box straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. This is the letter P and over here 
I'm just going to draw a straight line, curve line out on the left, curve line out on the right, curve line down, up, connect, baby triangle in the middle. This is the letter G. Okay, starting up here on the right hand corner, I'm just going to draw right next to my paper a border of a wavy line. Bring it down, wavy line. Bring it over, wavy line. Bring it up, wavy line, connect. That is going to symbolize my papyrus. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fat beige crayon. Now you can use a um, brown crayon and use the side lightly. And I'm just going to color the inside space and over my hieroglyphics with a little bit of color because this symbolizes the papyrus which was paper made out of plants that the Egyptians used to write on. And we're lucky they did because we have a record now of what they wrote. Then I take my purple and very lightly I draw straight lines. Don't draw through your drawing. And this represents the paper being folded and it was basically rolled into scrolls that the Egyptians used to write their writings. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my roll of papyrus paper with my Egyptian hieroglyphs written on top. What you need to remember is, is that the hieroglyphs could stand for letters, they could stand for the actual picture, but they also could stand for sounds. Okay, bye-bye.